Hop on, elephant. Let's take my new unicycle for a spin. I'd never ridden one of these before, but how hard can it be? Uh, pretty hard, apparently. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi, Peanut! Whoa! Bye, Peanut! And now for the finale, Kitty. Whoa, look out! Sorry, Jewel. Be careful, Peanut. But Kitty says, good show. Books for sale. Get some great books to read. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'll clean that later, B. I promise. Just be careful, Peanut. And watch where you're going. Ooh, I haven't read this one yet. You know what this house is missing, Zebra? Polka dots. Please get the purple paint. Look out! We're coming! Careful, Peanut. There's paint here, and things could get really... messy. Are you okay? I'm fine, and so is Elephant. But maybe we shouldn't ride this unicycle anymore. Wait, maybe you can ride it if you use these training wheels. That's better. Thanks, guys. What would I do without you? Probably crash into more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> for myself, and I could really use your help. Uh, come in? Can you make those cool moon decorations out of your special silver paper? I'm sorry, but I'm all out of silver paper. I wish I could help. It's all right. I have lots of other things on my list that will make the party great. Thanks anyway. Um, goodbye? And I was thinking you could make your double layer chocolate cake so my birthday party will be perfect, perfect, perfect. I wish I could, but I'm a lot of sugar, so I can't make a cake for your party. Not even a small cake? Some cookies? One little tiny cupcake? Well, cake or no cake, the party must go on. Good luck and happy birthday. Peanut, I think you'll love your birthday party assignment. Since you're so good at making everyone laugh, you'll be the entertainment. Achoo! So, as I was saying, you can sing, dance, tell jokes. Achoo! I'm sorry, Jewel, but I have a cold. Maybe someone else should be the party entertainment. That's okay. Hope you feel better soon, Peanut. At least you can help celebrate my birthday, Kitty. Surprise! Happy birthday, Jewel! Do you like the decorations? You made moons and stars and planets? Wow, Dot! That's why I was out of silver paper when you came over. I made your favorite chocolate cake. Not double layer or even triple layer, but quadruple layer. That looks amazing. Mmm, and tastes even more amazing. And now a very special act that 
that I practiced just for you. So you really did want to help throw a birthday party. Yes, a surprise party. Thank you so much. Even I couldn't have planned a party as wonderful as this. Our customers will be here any minute, and we want to be ready. Heat and coming. Nice job, hot dog. Now, all we need is crumbs to deliver dessert. I wonder what's keeping her. Meanwhile, let's start making pickle burger patties to beat the lunchtime rush. I'll just chop up these pickles. Oh, good! Crumbs is here with the... Oh, hi, Rosie. I thought you were Crumbs. You haven't seen her anywhere, have you? That's why I'm here. Crumbs twisted her wrist and couldn't bake anything today. Oh, no! Is she gonna be okay? Don't worry. I'm taking good care of her, and she'll be as good as new. But she asked me to give you this. It's Crumb's apple pie recipe. Crumb's was hoping you could bake it yourself just for today. Of course I can. Piece of cake. Er, pie. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. I'd better check on Crumb's now, but we'll be back later for some pickle burgers and apple pie. Okay, hot dog, you're up. Now, if you can finish making the pickle burger patties, I'll finish making this pie. Okay, now I just need to put on the top layer of crust. What do you mean, stop, hot dog? Our customers are on their way right now. I'm sorry, but there's no time to chat, hot dog. Please, just go make those pickle burger patties. Have a seat, folks. Crumbs, how are you feeling? Much better, thanks. But I'm sorry I couldn't bake the apple pie today. Don't worry. It was no trouble to bake it myself. I just hope it tastes as good as yours. I'm sure it's delicious. So, what can I get you? I'm so interested to taste your apple pie. I think I'm going to skip my usual pickle burger and just have pie. Me too. Four slices of apple pie coming right up. Here you go, fresh out of the oven. Well, hmm, something tastes different. Looks different, too. Pickles? What are pickles doing in my pie? <sighs> you did try to warn me, didn't you, hot dog? I guess they must have fallen in while I was baking. Oh, sorry about that. I'll just get you something else. No! This pie is delicious. I love the mix of tart and sweet. And the green of the pickles had such a colorful touch. Well, hot dog, thanks to you, it looks like we've got a great new dessert to add to our menu. Apple pickle pie! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on a rock, combing my blue hair, and singing a song about... Sitting on a rock, combing my... wet hair. Ahoy! Huh? Watch where you're blowing. Sorry about that, Patch. I'm sure Blowfish didn't mean to get you wet. No harm done, Sandy. But I can't see through my spyglass when it's wet. What are you looking for, Patch? Did you lose something? Not at all. I'm looking to find something. Treasure, that is. It's anyone's guess what lies beneath the sea. No need to guess. We can dive underwater and search for treasure for you. That would be great. Thank you. Blowfish, it's time to dive. <laughs> I can't 
can't see a thing. The water's mighty murky today. I'm looking through the wrong eye? Why, so I am, parrot. Look what Blowfish found, Patch. Isn't this a beautiful treasure? Aye, it's beautiful to be sure, but I've no use for it, I'm afraid. Then we'll just have to try again. <laughs> How about this giant pearl patch? Thanks for trying, but it's not exactly my kind of treasure. Okay. Then we'll find something that is. Well, Patch, what do you think of this? This chest has possibilities. It's battered and broken. Think of the tales it has to tell. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this other stuff, I'm sorry to say. Hmm. Then I guess we should put it back where we found it. <laughs> What's that? It's just a rubber rain boot. I'll have to add it to my rubber rain boot collection. Well, I guess it's treasure to him. <laughs> I never could have found this fine boot without your help. In fact, to thank you, I'm gonna make you both honorary pirates. Our Mitty. And since we're pirates, let's keep diving for treasure. 